Hi all, in this video, we are going to learn about A9G GPRS GPS board. The board is specially designed for IoT applications using cellular connectivity. The cellular network can be used for sending, receiving data using GPRS AT commands. The board has an integrated GPS as well, so it can be used for GPS tracker. The A9G module can be used for calling, sending and receiving SMS, connecting to the internet and also retrieving the location. The power consumption by this board is lesser than 2 mA. This makes this board ideal for low power IoT applications. The board can be operated using 3.7 volt lithium ion battery and putting this device to the sleep mode will increase its battery life for more than a week. So in this video, we will first learn A9G GSM GPRS plus GPS board introduction details and specifications. Then we will prepare the Arduino IDE and install the Madino A90 GPS board. And then we will go through the some of the basics Arduino code to learn and check some AT commands. Then we will make some SMS based project to turn on the LED. Similarly, we will make a GPS tracker project. Then we will interface DST11 humidity and temperature sensor with this board and display the humidity and temperature data on OLED screen. And then finally, we will learn about the cellular IoT. In this cellular IoT, we will be sending the data of DST11 that is humidity and temperature data to Thingispeak server. So without getting any delay, let's begin with this tutorial. The Madino Zero A9G board that I am going to use in this video is purchased from MakerFabs.com. The board costs around $19.80. It is the same board that I exactly got few days ago. You can visit this site and know about its description and features and similarly to purchase this board you can use the same link. Now as I purchased this board, now let us learn about the board specification features and its details. So board that I got is exactly the same board that I showed earlier. So let me show you how this board looks like. So the board has a two antenna. Let's keep this antenna aside and see this board. This is the front side of the board which has A9G low power GPS GPRS board with an 8 mil microcontroller. So on the back side you can see there are two slot. One slot is for SD card and another is for SIM card. Okay, so this board is ideal for IoT application because the power consumption by this board is lesser than 2 mA. And the best thing is it doesn't require high power. You can use 3.7 volt lithium ion battery to operate this board. Okay, you can put it in a sleep mode. So this board is manufactured by AI Thinker and it supports the same frequency band like other GSM GPRS board and this board has a SAMD microcontroller that is 32 bit microcontroller from higher series okay and this board has the same pin compared to Arduino microcontroller pins that is it has the same number of analog pin and digital pins this is the switch for turning it on and off and it has a reset button as seen in the Arduino board okay and you can see there are three buttons that is TX, RX and G and D this is used for connecting USB to TTL converter for directly communicating with A9G board and you can see there are GPIO pins that is from D0 to D13 seen in the Arduino and it has analog pin that is from A0 to A5 and then there are some voltage regulator IC to control the voltage. It has a micro USB port from which you can power this module or upload the code. It has a two connector. One is for battery connector and another is for charging this module. On the back side, you can insert any 2G SIM here. The speed of this uh, module is faster compared to other 
2G modules and gives the speed around 40 to 80 kbps. Okay, then it has a four slot. This one is for inserting the OLED display. And here are two antenna. One antenna is for the GSM GPRS antenna. And another antenna is for the GPS. So this is the patch antenna that can be directly inserted in the GPS part. Now the board is ready. You just need to insert a SIM card. So to learn more about this board and the A9G GPRS module, you can visit this data sheet. The board is manufactured by AI Thinker. And you can see the standard power consumption is lesser than 2 milliampere. Okay. And here are the specifications that is the current consumption takes voice sim card uart module communication interface sensitivity boot time accuracy working temperature weight everything is already explained here now let's prepare this board with arduino id and let's begin the programming part so the first thing that you need to do is you need to install the arduino zero board there is no pre-installed board so go to the board manager and search for Arduino Zero. So here is this board that is Arduino SAMD board that is basically a 32 bit ARM controller. Okay, you can install this board. So after the installation is done, you can go to the board and then select Arduino Zero native USB port. Okay, after that, you can select the port. This port will appear once you connect this Arduino Zero board using micro USB data cable with your computer so this is the micro usb data cable and i have directly connected using the micro usb port now let's learn about the some of the basic programming and some at commands for this just see this code this is a simple example code that i took from make favors as a reference so all the power consumption parameters are defined here And when serial is available, then it will give some response like AT commands and all other commands that are basically give available for this A9G board. So upload this code. Once you upload the code, you will get all the information in the serial console window. So you can see the device, the flash memory, the total size of the code, etc. Okay, it is successfully uploaded. Now, what you need to do is, you just need to open your serial monitor. So, after opening the serial monitor, the board will display this if it is correctly connected. So, just in AT command, it will give as a response as OK. AT plus GPS equal to 1 will turn on the GPS. AT plus GPS equal to 0 will turn off the GPS. Similarly, AT plus GPS equal to 1 will turn it as we need to get the NEMA coordinates. To get the NEMA coordinates, just type 80 plus GPSRD equal to 10 and send it. 10 is basically getting the NEMA update after the interval of every 10 seconds. So this are the NEMA coordinates. Now what we want is we want to convert this NEMA coordinates into GPS. For that, first turn off this location. 80 plus GPSRD equal to 0 will turn up this NUMA coordinates. Now type 80 plus location equal to 2. This will turn on the GPS and it will give you the latitude and longitude. You can check this latitude and longitude and check your location as well. Now let's make an SMS based project to turn on the appliances, for example, an RGB LED. So I have defined the RGB LED pin as 234. So by sending any string, we are getting the operations that is turning on and off the LED. So what we have done is we have just assigned some command that is on command and off command using O and R for red LED that will turn on the LED as low and O and G for green LED. Similarly, O and B for blue LED. Okay. And O, F, R is the off and OFG is the off for the green. So sending this through the SMS, it will directly perform the operations. So just upload the code. 
So after uploading the code, you can open the serial monitor. So the serial monitor will display the uh, instruction that you need to send something to control your devices. So now let's send some SMS. So ONG, uh, this will turn off the green LED. So when the SMS is sent, we can see the LED is turned off. That is green LED is turned off. Now just send O and B. This will turn off blue LED. So O and B will turn off blue LED. So the blue LED is turned off. Now let us send off R. This will turn on the red LED. So the red LED is turned on. So now let's send OFFB. This will turn on blue LED. So the blue LED is turned on. Similarly, you can see all the instruction that the SMS has sent and performed on a serial monitor. Now let's make a GPS tracker project. To make a GPS tracker project, you just need to upload this code and we are using the same AT command as explained earlier to get the location automatically. So once the code is uploaded, open the serial monitor. So it will take some time to fix the exact location. So after a while, it will start displaying the correct coordinate. So you can see my location is 26.44 as a latitude and 87.27 as a longitude. Now I want to display this location on my OLED screen. So connect 0.96 inch I2C OLED display to this board directly. And here is an another code. This code has an integrated Adaptus library from GFX and SST1306. So we have done nothing. We have simply added some line for this board. So now the board has started showing the NEMA coordinates. It will show the NEMA coordinates as well as it will display the latitude and longitude on the board. So this is how you can make a GPS track project. Now let us interface DST11 humidity temperature sensor to this board. So simply connect a humidity and temperature sensor to this board. That is connect the output pin to the D3 and VCC to 3B3 and ground to ground. And we have defined some of the library for DST11. So we are doing nothing. We are just reading the DST11 temperature and humidity of the surrounding from the library. So upload this code. After uploading the code, you can open the serial monitor and you can see the temperature and humidity is displayed. The same temperature and humidity is displayed on OLED screen. Okay. Now let's learn about the cellular IoT. This is sending the DST11 temperature and humidity data to Thingispeak server. For this visit Thingispeak.com and simply create an account or just log in. Create a new channel. Give channel any name and give field 1 as temperature and field 2 as humidity. Save this channel. And then now just go to the API keys. Copy this API key. Go to the programming and replace it here. Okay, so it is replaced here. Now you need to do a, another modification that is the APN. For example, I am in Nepal and currently I am using Nepal Telecom SIM. So the APN for Nepal Telecom SIM is NTNet. Check your carrier provider and contact them to learn about the APN. You also need to make a change in the APN in this line as well. Replace the APN of your SIM card. Okay. Now after that, you just simply need to upload the code. So once you upload the code, the device will initialize and using the AT commands, it will start connecting to the internet. Okay, so you are receiving all the parameters as OK, OK, OK. Now the data is successfully sent to the server. So you can see that data is uploaded here. Thank you for watching.